Salette des Capilli is Magister Austin with another great uh, grammar lesson. Today we're covering a lesson for Sextus, which is Ecce Romane number 39. And we're covering in here prepositions, place constructions, and time constructions. It's a very interesting uh, lesson about using prepositions without Latin, prepos uh, Latin prepositions. We're going to do this in two parts. We're going to start with the place construction, and then we're going to have another video for the time construction. So let's get started with uh, place construction. Now, we're typically, we see place construction, we see it using prepositions. So I'm going to show you some examples of that. The first one we have here is with the accusative case, which shows place to which, which basically shows us uh, a motion toward something. Okay, and there are two prepositions that we can use with that. You can see here in the example, sextus eri volt, ad urbum, which is sextus wishes to go to the city. You can also see it with in insulam, where sextus wishes to go into the apartment or ad cuponum to the inn, ad asia, to asia, or in forum, into the forum. Okay, please note that when we use in with the accusative ending, we're going to translate it as into. Okay, we need to remember that because that's very important because we're showing action towards something. Now, when we want to show location, we use the ablative case. We show the place where something occurs. Okay, and we use specific ablative prepositions. So we have sunt multis homnes, which is many men are, sub aboribus, under the trees, sub aqua, under water, in urbe, in the city, in sua, in the woods, in opidio, in the town. So in this case, in is used with the ablative case, so we translate it as in and not into or onto. The other one we have for the use of the ablative is when we show place from which, which basically shows us a way. Okay? And so here we have an, an example in Cornelii Profecti Sunt. And here we use the preposition ab. Okay? So we have the Cornelii set out ab urbe from the city, ab insula from the apartment, ab capona from the inn, ab asia from Asia, ab foro, from the forum. So these show a way, and these aren't the only prepositions that do that. Uh, actually, um, X and de will also uh, work the same way for prepositional phrases that show a place from which, uh, which is a way. Um, so let's look at the ones that don't use a preposition, and there are several that don't use a pre preposition. Um, and usually that is place names that do to or from, depending on how they're used. So we have two examples here. We have Brindisium Perfectus Est and Brindisio Perfectus Est. So we have Brindisium here, and we have that in the accusative case. So since it shows up in the accusative case, we're going to translate the sentence, he set out to Brindisium. And then we have Brindisio, which is in the ablative case. So we're going to translate that as he set out from Brindisium, okay? And the same thing applies to other um, proper Roman names here, like iter Romanum iter facibamus, which is we were journeying to Rome, and Roma egressi sumus, we left from Rome. Pompeius festinalwisti, you hurried to Pompeii, and Pompeius discessi, I left from Pompeii. Delum Nagawi, I sailed to Delos. Delo Fessinawimus, we hurried from Delos. Sardiniam Eunt, they go to Sardinia. Sardinia Redo, they return from Sardinia. So you can see each of these here, and they all have something very important in common. All of these are the names of cities, towns, or small islands. Now Crete or Sicily are not included in this because they're also considered countries, and countries require a preposition. Okay? So this is how we, uh, so when you see those cases in the accusative and the ablative, and their names of proper cities, um, towns, or small islands, you're going to translate them the same way you would with a preposition, but you're not going to see them. Now there is 
Um, a couple more words that follow this pattern. One is domus home and rus versus uh, neuter, which is country. And they don't use a preposition either. So you can see this first sentence here. You can see Euclides domo mane ad insulum fratres profectus est, which is ablative. So when we translate this sentence, it will say Euclides set out early in the morning from home to his brother's apartment. And then when you see it with the accusative case, you'll see Euclides returned to home through the streets of the city. And you'll see Rur here, and this R-U-R-A, R-U-R-E is actually ablative. So the Cornelis were traveling to Rome from the country. And then you can also see here where it's accusative, and that being because the word is in the fourth declension, um, you're going to see uh, Cornelia wishes to return to uh, the country. And so you can see the same use there that you saw before. Now here's where we learn a new case. With names in cities and small towns, we also use the locative case. Okay, it's the locative case, and basically what it does is it shows location. So this is when we're going to translate it with in or at. Okay. Uh, with plural nouns, the locative has the same ending as the ablative. And when I say a plural noun, I mean nouns that traditionally only come in plural. If you look at the dictionary form of by, by e, which you'll see right here, um, you can see that when it's written down in its dictionary form, okay, it's written only in the plural form. So it is feminine and it is plural. Okay. Um, and the same applies to Pompeii and Athens. So let me just show you Athens here real quick. Okay. So you can see each one of those has that particular form. And Pompeii is a third declension, and it is plural, so that is why they are plural. And with plural nouns, the locative has the same ending as the ablative. So this ending here is a second declension ablative ending, but it is actually um, locative, and it's translated in by. Okay, and here in the um, so uh, the Cornelis were living in by in the summer, and then we have Sextus was living with his mother and father in Pompeii. Again, we have in Pompeii, and that is, um, again, the locative case. Then we have pater sexi Athenus non moritatus est. So Sextus's father uh, was not delaying in Athens. And so again, here we have in Athens. Okay, again, the locative case. Okay? Okay, so what about words that come traditionally in the singular? Well, let's take a look at that. First and second declension words that have the singular, which means that their dictionary forms look singular, okay? Uh, those words typically use the locative case, looks like it's in the genitive. So you see Romai, Brindisi, and Delhi. All, all of those are genitive forms, and so we can see them in this particular uh, format here. Now, in third declension, it's a little tricky. And third declension nouns have a locative that is usually the same as the ablative singular. However, sometimes you will see them in the dative. So sometimes they can be dative. So I'm just going to write that there so you're aware of that. Now, note that duos and rus always use the dative ending. So you have carthinity here, which is an I, which is an E, but you could see it with an I on the end of it. And then you have ruri and domi, which will actually always end in I. So that's a little confusing in the locative, but just be aware that that's what that case is called. And we'll talk more about that as we continue on. So uh, let's review just a little bit on place constructions. We have place constructions that use the preposition, and in, they use the accusative case when they're showing action towards, which is uh, uh, plus in or ad shows action towards. Now, if the name of a city or town or small island, it still shows action towards, and you still put it in the accusative case, but you don't use a preposition. Then you have the ablative, which is ab, ex, or day, which shows motion away. 
And again, if the name of a city, a town, or a small island, you are still going to put it in the ablative case, but you are not going to uh, add a preposition. And then there's the ablative in or sub, which shows location. And of course, the names of cities, towns, and small islands, we use the locative case. So let's review the locative case. The locative case only applies to names of city, towns, or small islands. Okay? It's translated in or at. All nouns in the plural, same as the ablative plural, like Bais, Garibus, Pompeius, Athenius. Okay, so each one of those is in plural, has plural dictionary forms. But in the first and second declension, it's in the singular, uh, is the same as the genitive singular, in Romani, Brindisi, Cornelius, Sardini. Okay, and the third declension singular is the same as the, uh, it's actually the ablative, I forgot to change this here, um, but ablative is what we're looking at here, ablative singular, but it can also be the dative, so you might see it as Carthinii, or you might see it as Carthaginae, okay? So sometimes you might see them that way, and you might see them with the I. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, that's all we have for those. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or um, uh, review this video one more time. We will be doing some practice with that right now, so uh, have a good day.